that Jen deserved someone fantastic. And I had these <laughs> incredible expectations of who the man she should marry, the qualities he should have. So I remember talking to her one day, and <laughs> we talk about everything, but she, I asked her, like, oh, how is fire prevention? And she was like, oh, there was this clown, and my teachers want to set me up with him. And I blew it off because I was like, whatever, you know. So I was teaching second grade in Shawnee, and for fire prevention week, the firemen come out with fire gloves. <laughs> and uh, they do a performance. I'm a fireman and I was doing uh, fire prevention, dressed up like a clown, and she didn't want to be there because she was scared of clowns. But afterwards, he comes behind me and scares me to death, and I end up jumping. Um, so the rest of the day, my kids were talking about the clown that scared Miss Womble. On the way home, a first grade teacher called me and said that Nozzle, which is his fire clown name, <laughs> would be calling me um, that day and that I better answer the phone. She knew me too well. Okay, so we had been dating for about two years and I hate surprises. I'm a really big detective, so I was trying to figure this out. And I was like, mm, I think he's gonna propose. It would be cute if it was during the fire prevention simply. My sister's like, no, he's not gonna do it. Throw me off. Kennedy's like, yeah, I, I can't come up anymore. Um, we end up being like 30 minutes late to <laughs> the performance. And the whole drive, Kennedy, my mom, everyone, they're like, hey, you probably should call him and give him a heads up that you're gonna be late. She intends not to be on time. Uh, a lot of times and uh, we're working on that we're working on the on-time part uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, she was like 40 minutes late and we tried to stall the show and uh, it was just uh, it, it ended up happening but it was a little bit later um, at the end they call people up well of course they send the fire dog to come get me and I am heated I had just got there I thought they're gonna make me look like a fool <laughs> up there they had to pretend to be choking. And then, <laughs> yeah, Kira walked up and popped the question. I, Kiefer, take you, Jennifer. I, Jennifer, take you, Kiefer, to be my husband. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. From the beginning, the Bible makes it clear that marriage is a calling for God, from God to care for, to bless, and to serve one another. And we're called to channel God's love and kindness to all, but in marriage, we're called to do that in a special kind of way, an intentional way, towards someone who will be our partner for life. You've declared your consent and vow before God in this gathering of people, and now the Kiefer and Jennifer have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings. I announce to you that they are now husband and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together. Let no one put asunder. Keith or Kiefer, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> that he was coming to family vacation in Tennessee and I was really excited because when you get to spend several days with people you get to find out who they really are and I could see how he treated Jen and that weekend showed me that he was a perfect fit for Jen. Just seeing them together, they laughed together 
together and they just bring out the best in each other. I can honestly say I've never met a couple who fits quite well, quite as well as Jennifer and Kiefer. They fit like intricate puzzle pieces. I wish you both many, many blessings and um, full, uh, a life full of happiness and joy and unforgettable memories. I love you both. So let's raise a glass to this happy couple. Cheers to Vinny and Cooper. I did make a few notes to keep me on track here. I don't want to start. I need glasses. It says, uh, keep it PG on per request of the beautiful bride. Uh, don't curse, which is, that's pretty hard for me. Uh, don't, what was that? don't talk about how hot Jen's mom is. Oh. That don't count. This isn't my speech yet. That's not my speech yet, so I didn't break the rule. Uh, but uh, anyways, I've known Kiefer going on 20 years. We've been through more together than anybody in my life and uh, I'm extremely thankful every day knowing that that fool at some point is going to call me to talk for 30 minutes about nothing until he gets to his destination. He told me, he said, man, I met this girl, she's a teacher. Oh, that's a bad idea because you're not very bright. <laughs> She'll see right through you. I mean, it's just hands down. I can pass this mic to each and every person. Whether you met him one time or a hundred times, you're going to have something great to say about him. And that is just phenomenal. Not many people can say that. But what's even more amazing is the fact that I can hand this mic to each and every person in the room and the amount of bad things you can say about Kiefer is zero. There's nothing. I'm serious. Like, there's nothing. When, when you think of Kiefer Quaid Hotella, there's not one single bad thought that comes to mind. It's just through and through. He's got a giant heart. Everybody's, you know, everybody's got a soulmate. There's somebody out there for everybody. But when, when he brought her around, I was like, wow, that is a female version of Kiefer. <laughs> like, way prettier, way prettier. No, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. She's gorgeous. But yeah, Kiefer, he can use a little word. But I mean, it was just amazing. And right from the start, you know, you could see the, I mean, she just lit his world up, you know, like I never could do. And, uh, you know, from... <laughs> No, but seriously, I love her to death. I do anything for her. She's like a like a sister to me. And until uh, I stop breathing, I'll have their backs for the rest of their lives. She didn't just marry Kiefer. She got a, a fat redhead too. Let's make a toast to this wonderful couple because I mean, they truly are picture perfect. And I wish the best for you. I love y'all.